Hello everybody, welcome back to Lauren's Loves Color. This is Lauren. I am here today to share a really exciting tag with you. This was a video um, and a tag that was started by Emma Colors 2020 is her YouTube channel name. I will be linking her information, anybody I talk about, as well as all of the books and supplies down in the comments below. She created this tag um, kind of at the end of December and um, I watched her video and I really, really loved it. Um, she's calling it Coloring Discovery of 2020. I know we're in 2021, but me having been a new colorist and really starting my coloring journey in 2020, this was really exciting for me to, um, and a really great exercise actually to think through this past year of 2020, to think about the things that I've purchased, the things that I've learned, the things I've experienced and the people I've been connected to and what were some of the most meaningful things, um, and things that I enjoyed the most. So I have made a list here, um, that I will be going through and answering each of the questions in the tab. Um, and uh, we will go ahead and let's get started. So the first question um, that she asks is, are what are your five favorite new supply purchases of 2020? I'm going to move this off to the side here. There's a lot of stuff on my desk, guys, so um, just bear with me as I try to work through this. So the first one that I have listed is going to be in this bag here and it is my Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pens. Um, many of you are very familiar with these pens. They are like glitter extreme. Um, I also have in here my Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic gel pens which are also really fantastic but I absolutely love the Pentel Sparkle Pop pens. You can find these on Amazon. Many of you are familiar with them. They are um, just absolutely gorgeous. They have, they're kind of like extra glitter, but it's also kind of two colors in one that you see when you draw with them. So like the black, for example, is black and red. Um, so it's got red glitter in it. And so it looks just amazing and it makes your colors just absolutely pop off the page. Um, they're great to use as accents and details. I even get to be so extra to the point that where I will use this to color in the lines in mosaic books or color questopia books because I love them so much. They are slightly more expensive for a gel pen, but I find them very well worth it um, and love them very, very dearly. Next is going to be a supply I don't hear a lot of people talk about, which are these Shuttle Art Permanent Markers. Um, a lot of people I have seen um, recently have gotten into permanent markers and coloring with permanent markers, and I kind of fell in line with that as well. I was looking for a really good set of permanent markers. Um, I don't like to color with Sharpies because of the smell. Um, and then Bix, of course, have about 36 colors, but they're not all-inclusive. Um, and they're also a tad bit expensive if you purchase them continuously. So I wanted to find a set of markers um, that was good. So this came as a recommendation from Anne from A Colorful Life. And I have all of the pens labeled on the top, but these are fine point um, permanent markers. They thought they sell a really great range of colors. This is a set. This is their largest set. It's a set of 60. Um, they do sell ultra fine permanent markers as well. Unfortunately, I think the largest color selection they have in the ultra fine is 30. Um, but yeah, I love the 60 set of these. I know people have had a hard time with their alcohol markers from Shuttle Art with them yellowing. I have not had an issue um, with these markers doing that at all. I think they perform very well. The tips of the um, permanent markers have kind of withstood the test of time for me. I use these a lot in my Color by Number books. I use them a lot in my Such and Such Diva books. Um, and I just really like them. They're very affordable as well. Um, and so I like these a lot. I use these a lot um, and I highly recommend these. Next on my list are my Tao Tree markers. Um, these I saw on um, Donna, uh, Color with Donna, Coloritaville. She introduced these markers to me. Um, these are like a skinny version of an alcohol marker. Um, what is slightly surprising is that actually if you compare them to a regular um, marker, like a regular Cali Art or a Hoo Hoo marker, the fine tip that's on here is actually not that much finer than a regular alcohol marker, except it's kind of like longer and skinnier, whereas they kind of fatten up real quickly. But they do get into nice fine details really nicely. Um, they also have a nice chisel tip and they have a really great color selection. This is the set of 101 markers. Um, they go on sale every once in a while and 
and I want to say I got them for like $21 or something like that. Like they're very affordable. Um, and so they may run out sooner than your larger alcohol markers, but I really, really enjoy these. And replacing a set this large isn't as expensive because they are smaller and skinnier alcohol markers. So the color range in here is really great. They are all numbered on both sides of the marker. Um, as well so they have they don't have a color name associated to them but they do have a color number so I really like these I utilize these a lot um, a lot a lot so these are some of my go-to markers especially for um, some of my Belva family books um, and other um, single-sided books they are alcohol markers so they do bleed through but I love them very very much I use them a lot Next on my list are my um, Cali Art brush markers. These are my go-to for um, my alcohol markers. They come in a pack like this. This is the largest set that they sell right now, which is the 120. Um, these are very well um, loved. I use these a lot. I even have a backup set of like, um, their small set, I think it's either 51 or 54 markers. Um, and that's actually a perfect size set for the color by number books because they have um, I found like that they use all of the colors in that smaller set um, that are in this larger set too. So they're a great backup. So you don't, don't feel like you need to get the 120 set if you're interested in a brush marker. Um, but this has that beautiful um, brush tip um, on the end. Um, I have worn these down quite a bit. I have used them quite a lot. I will say that um, these brush tips are not perfect. Um, I have found that they do start to fray a little bit on the ends and so they do send you with some replacement nibs which I need to put on some of these markers and I'm probably going to get in touch with CaliArt and see if I can get some more because I can't find a way online for you to purchase the brush tips separately. Now I have not tried the Ohuhu brush tips. I've heard those are also pretty amazing um, as well as the spree markers um, but yeah love these markers as well. Last but not least is probably going to be the hardest thing to show, which is number one going to be my monopod that holds um, my um, camera. So I film um, all of my YouTube content on my iPhone 12 Pro. Um, I absolutely love the camera on there. I think it works spectacularly and I edit all of my videos um, on with iMovie on my iPhone um, 12. But I have a monopod that this is attached to. It clips onto the side of my desk and holds my phone um, over me it's very easily adjustable um, I also control all of my camera settings on my um, on my Apple watch as most of you guys know and I love doing that um, the next thing that I was going to show though is going to be my light can I even show this whoa um, if I can even show this so this light here and this is going to be way hard to see because I can't even extend it all the way um, hold on let's see Maybe I can actually adjust my camera a little bit Ooh. to show you guys. This is my light. What I like about this light is that it um, is that it has this little knob here that I can adjust the um, brightness. Oh, and I actually think I just unplugged it. Um, is that I can adjust up and down the brightness of it. Um, I can adjust the um, yellowness of the light as well if I want the light to be more warm or I like it to be more cool. Um, it also has like an auto adjust setting. It has a sleep setting so that if it's left on for a certain amount of time that it will automatically turn off and um, I love it. So it's a really let me show you my camera. Um, it's a really, really fantastic light. And I'm sorry if I made you guys dizzy um, by looking at that, but I absolutely love that light. Um, and I use it for filming um, quite often. So um, if you see like a glare and stuff over here, that is the light that I use. And it's very easily adjustable. It adjusts up and down. I can rotate it. Um, it's just a perfect light for filming. So the next question that comes from this tag is your five favorite purchases, five favorite book purchases of 2020. So the first one that I have listed here is going to be my most colored in book is going to be my Christmas mosaic book um, by Sun Life Drawing. This is a fantastic book. I now have the entire series. Um, 
many people have seen this book. I'm not going to do a full flip through of it, but the spaces are large enough to make it to where it's really easy and relaxing to color in. The black background is perfect so you don't have to fill in the lines. I find myself rotating towards these books a lot just because of just the ease of coloring in these books. Um, I love how easy it is for me to just pick up and color. I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way. Second, my second book on the list is the Candy Coloring Book by Color Questopia. This book is not my favorite Color Questopia book by far. However, it is the first one that I purchased. And um, I colored a lot in this book. And why this book is special to me is because it really got me into color by number. It was the first color by number book that I actually purchased. And this is kind of what led me down the rabbit hole um, of color by number. In particular, I really loved coloring this picture um, of this dog. And this is like in the bonus pages in the back, but um, I filled out the lines with metallic gel pen and um, I love how it turned out and I just I just really decided like that I really loved color by number. So this book is definitely on there for me. Next is going to be this entire series. You guys know that I love is this in doodle color by number books. Um, I love the number of images in here. This was one of the first books that I bought that I felt like the illustrations really spoke to me um, for color by number. And so I get a lot of satisfaction out of coloring out of this book. Um, I'm about to start working on a buddy color out of here. And um, I just love I just love this book and it also really made me appreciate the um, quality of paper. This was the one of the first books that I got that didn't have the just typical Amazon paper and so coloring on it I felt like my images turned out really nice and the marker looked nice and smooth on it because it is higher quality paper. Next is going to be the Belbo Family Wow Animals book. This is the first kind of mystery mosaic book that I purchased and um, fell in love with these as well. Uh, I use the cross stitch method, especially on these smaller areas. And um, so like here's an example, I really love this unicorn page, um, but it was something different and it really introduced me into color by number, like with a twist to do something a little bit different. Um, here's another one that I did and I really like this book. I just think it's really fun um, and relaxing in a totally different way. So I really enjoyed um, working out of here. And then last, um, what I have on here is the Christmas Patterns book by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. Um, this book is special to me for a number of reasons. This is the first book um, that I purchased that was a Sachdeva book, um, but it also was my very first Christmas book. It was also my very first flip through that I filmed. Um, when I bought this book, for whatever reason, I was really inspired to do a flip through. And I think it was because um, Sachin and Prachi don't typically, when they release their books, have flip throughs of their books um, readily available. And I really like to watch flip throughs. I really like to see what I'm purchasing before I actually purchase it. And so I decided to just uh, spontaneously film it. And um, if Shelly Lewis is watching this video, she will laugh at me. And anybody who is a cross stitcher will laugh at me. I filmed the flip through of this book using my cross stitching stand. I did not have a monopod. Um, I had my cross stitching stand and so I used my clamp that I used to hold my cue snaps and um, put my cell phone on the end of it, screwed it closed enough and then used it to film the flip through of this book. And so um, it's really what inspired me to get into filming again, and then eventually what has brought me back onto YouTube. And so this book to me will always have somewhat of a sentimental meaning. Um, I also since then do work directly with um, Sachin Sachdeva um, to film flip throughs and I post them um, on social media and Amazon for him so that he can have flip throughs available to the public of his books. And I'm really grateful for that opportunity. I love working with him. Um, and with his family and um, really just enjoy the work they put into their books and their products. And so this book to me has kind of a very special um, and sentimental uh, meaning to me. 
next is the next question is what is the one most precious supplier book purchased that you've never used because it's too special this was very hard for me I don't have a single thing that I have purchased that I haven't used I do have some books I haven't colored in yet but it's not because I don't plan on using them or that I'm too intimidated it's just that I haven't gotten around to them yet like that I just got them for Christmas or just got them within this past month so um, I had to think then about what were the books or supplies that I was most intimidated to color or to utilize. Um, all of my supplies I've used, so I don't really feel like I have a supply that fits into that arena. Um, so I picked two books. The first book is a book that I actually left out of um, some of my completed pages when I first filmed completed pages for Instagram, and this is the Mermaids in Paradise book. I have actually colored in this book. I used watercolor, and it was the first time that I, it wasn't my first time go, painting in watercolor, but it was the first page that I had completed almost fully in watercolor. I also had a, I have a very small collection of Neo colors, and I tried to use them in the background. That failed miserably. Um, I just don't like the technique that I used. I got the page too wet, and it kind of messed it up a little bit, but um, other than that, I do like a lot about this page. Um, I used some glitter gel pen, some park, sparkle pop, um, I even used some glossy accents in the little cup, um, so that is kind of shiny. I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to see that, but, um, yeah, I don't know that you got, that you can even see that, but I really, really, really enjoyed, um, trying this book. I will say I am a little bit intimidated to jump back into it, but I think I will, um, it's just very different for me than anything else that I color in. Um, but I really like using watercolor in this book. These are nice thick pages and watercolor to me just turns out, it looks like you've put a lot of effort into something that you really didn't. Um, it's as simple as color by number. So, um, I will get back in this book again. I, I, I'm confident that I will. And, um, and hopefully that will be sometime this year. Hopefully I'll get at least a page or two done in here this year. The other book that I would say is the most intimidating to me is my Chibi Girls Grayscale book. Um, anything that's non-color by number is somewhat intimidating to me because I'm always afraid of messing up the color palette. However, um, Danny Buttons did a buddy color in here with me. And um, I really plan on getting back in this book again. It helped me to open up a little bit to not be so afraid. Um, there's also another coloring channel and I want to say it's... Um, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it mis incorrectly, but it's jaw coloring. It's J-A exclamation point coloring. And she actually just completed her Chibi Girl book. Um, I want to say it was the Grayscale 2-in-1 book. It's either that or it's just one of the first two books that she completed. And she did a flip through like within this past week of completing it. And her pages look beautiful. And, and honestly, they were very simple. Um, they were mostly straight colored, but she had some great accents with gel pen and stuff in there. And I was like, oh man, I, I, I legitimately think I can do that. I've just got to be, um, I've just got to be inspired to just pick a page, pick up some markers and to just jump in. So, um, I'm planning on doing that and that's also why you saw in my January plans if you saw my um or in maybe my upcoming video I don't know which one I'm going to post first where I'm going to be talking about my plans for 2021 and that's really going to involve some cut some non-color by number pages which I anticipate will mostly be out of this book it is this is a thick girl she is 100 pages um over 100 pages I think it's 110 pages and I really want to get more um more inspired to do non-color by number All right, number four. So five new YouTubers and channels that you are most glad to have discovered. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and talk about each one of these that I have listed here. I really struggled with this. Um, there are a lot of smaller channels as well that I wish that I could have had on this list. I really wish this list could have been 10 and not five um, because there are some smaller channels too um, that I'll mention as well that, um, um, 
were inspiring to me and that, and that I was very glad to have found very recently. But the first one is going to be Danny Buttons. Um, Danielle, she, her content is amazing. Um, I find her very entertaining to watch. Um, she's very highly interactive. If you message her on Instagram, um, she'll respond back. She answers questions. She responds to all of her comments. She posts really fun and exciting and new content and she makes to me coloring very approachable. Um, so like the Chibi Girls Grayscale books or or um, non-color by number. She kind of is just one of those girls when you see her color, she picks up her books and she just colors. And um, her images always turn out really cute. So um, really love her um, and we've become buddies. So that's even better. Next is who I mentioned before the stitching color is Shelly Lewis. Um, Shelly also has very similar taste to what I have in coloring books. Um, I find her content also very entertaining as well as she's a, she's kind of also a fellow cross stitcher. And that's how I started my YouTube channel was with cross stitching. So we have that in common as well. So I really enjoy um, watching her and watching her content. Third is the next three are really my biggest enablers and the biggest people who helped me determine what types of books I wanted to get and how and supplies and things like that. The first one is Lisa's Coloring Corner. Lisa, she's one of those YouTubers where I ring my bell. I want to know every time that she has a new video that uploads because she does a lot of flip throughs and she does a lot of haul videos. And, um, She's got an amazing collection of supplies and of coloring books. And so, and she's super sweet. So I love watching um, her content and her channel. She's who's helped me. Um, she's someone that typically when I search in YouTube for a flip through of a book, Lisa typically comes up as someone who has done a flip through. Um, next is A Colorful Life, and if you like color in chats, I would say she's my go-to girl for color in chats. She's hysterical. Um, she has two YouTube channels. Um, I think it's Crafting with Anne and then A Colorful Life. A Colorful Life is her channel dedicated to adult coloring. She has done a lot of, um, she has a Facebook group. Um, she does a lot of ongoing hashtags and challenges. She did the Sally Berry Advent calendar and colored every day. Um, but she's also hilarious uh, and amazing to watch. Color and chat sometimes can be, get, can be hit or miss as to whether or not I like them. I love Anne's. They're, they crack me up. She's, she's a great storyteller too, I think, which is what makes her so exciting. Um, and then lastly, Nikki in Niagara. Um, Nikki's also one who does a lot of color and chats. Um, she, there is a video and I need to hope to remember to link this in the description. She has a video completely dedicated to her color by number books that she has in her collection. It's over an hour long. Um, she doesn't do full flip throughs of each one, but she flips kind of through each book. She has a massive collection of coloring books and that like over one hour video about um, color by number, I have watched probably at least five or six times because I love it so much. Um, and I got introduced to so many different color by number books that I never knew about because of Nikki. Um, she also is someone very heavily involved on Facebook. She also does a lot of challenges. She's in the Facebook color by number group that I'm doing that's doing the um, color by number mandalas with Jade Summer. Um, I think she's also on the Facebook group doing the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly for a lot of people who are involved in that. So if you don't know Nikki, she's fantastic. Um, if another couple of channels that I just want to mention, um, the first one is the uh, Jaw or Yaw Coloring. Um, she's phenomenal. Um, I love her. I'll link her down below. Color Me Impressed. Emily with Color Me Impressed is another person. As soon as I see her videos, I go to them. Um, I find that I have a lot in common with her. Um, she's just a really cool person to listen and talk to. Um, really fun and entertaining on um, Instagram as well. So I like her um, as well as... Um, Coloring My Way, Lisa, is that the name of your channel? I think it's Coloring My Way. Um, she's also really great. Um, she does a lot in permanent markers. She does color by number, but she does a combination of other things too. So um, I really like watching her um, and I'm really entertained by her. And then there's many, many others that I watch as well. Um, I'm really kind of just starting to get into color tube a little bit more into the guts of it. So hopefully I'll be coming back at some other time in 2021 to talk more about the color tubers that I have um, enjoyed. Um, and then next on this list are what are three new artists that you have discovered in 2020? Again, this list is like crazy long because every new artist is new to me this year. Um, but here's kind of my top three. First is Sachin and Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. 
Um, the Sach Diva family is fantastic. Um, they're phenomenal artists. I've really fallen in love with their books and their artistic style. Um, their color palettes of the things that they have, and they have a wide variety of books. So they not only do color by number, um, kind of traditional with like kind of the mosaic style, they also do these like, you know, just regular coloring books. They do simple and more complex ones. They do um, also kind of the square mosaic ones um, that are really cool. So they have a large variety of coloring books. Um, and so I've really fallen in love with them. Jeanette Wummel does the Playful Pets coloring book. Um, and then she has also a Sea Life book. Whoa. A Zen Doodle Sea Life book. And um, um, I've really fallen in love with her illustrations. She does a ton of also non-color by number for Zen Doodle. Um, and so if you search Zen Doodle books or you search Jeanette Wommel, you can actually find a ton um, of her books um, that are available that are non-color by number, but kind of the same type of whimsical um, style as well. So I'm happy to have found her. I want to say on Instagram, she's like the roots of design or something, and she does a lot of teasers. Um, a lot of teaser content for books she has coming out. Um, and then Eclipse Arts. And I'm so sorry, but I don't know the name of the person that I've been talking to. But she um, does the Circulism books. Oh. And so these are a new set of books to me, um, but I've also found um, she's very responsive um, on Instagram, really wants a lot of feedback about the books um, and has made, um, has a lot of books that are coming out um, and has just a very unique style of book. So I'm just really excited to have found these. These are beautiful once they're colored. Um, I plan on doing some work with her um, to kind of just introduce her more to the community and to learn more about her and her books in general too. Ooh, this is the penguin page. This is the page that I want to do first. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. Um, I think the other one that I left off of here that I think is also really important to mention is really more of a publisher is Color Questopia. Um, Color Questopia, I own a ton of their books. I love their books and I also find them, while I don't know how much of the books they make their own or how many they work with other artists, I find them extremely responsive as well as like I've given them feedback before about, you know, really like this on this book, really not sure about this or, oh, this book is phenomenal or I have questions about different things because I'm just curious and um, they're so responsive, so easy to talk to. Same thing with Belba family. Um, they're also extremely responsive, very interactive with their consumers, and it's really kind of fun to get to talk to the people who create such amazing content um, and such amazing books for colorists. And so, um, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I don't know, I love it. I love interacting um, with the publishers on Instagram. I find that really fun. Last but not least, because we are now at 26 minutes, is going to be my top six favorite coloring pages in 2020. Now, all of my favorite coloring pages are in 2020 because of the fact that I just started coloring again in August, but I will show you. Number one is actually from this artist, very small Arteza book. This is um, my very first adult coloring page. And so... With that being said, that is my very, um, it's honestly my, one of my very favorite pages I've ever colored. It's this quick little repeating, um, um, pattern cloud page. And what I did here is I had just purchased when I got into, um, adult coloring a whole bunch of different mediums. So on this page are colored pencils, it's alcohol markers, water-based markers, it's um, watercolor, uh, glitter gel pen, um, and that might be it. So yeah, you can even see kind of on the back. And I completed this page, page August 14th of 2020. So I just did all different colors of blues and grays and navies. Um, and I really like how this turned out. Um, I just thought this was really fun um, and just something unique. And it kind of, it spiraled me into my next... Um, all of my next completed pages into where I am right now. Next is going to be, this is probably my number two page that I have ever colored. You guys just saw this in my completed pages um, for December. This is my snow globe page. This is, I would say, the first non-color by number book that I um, colored a page in that I am most proud of because of just the color combination. 
I think the color combination on this just turned out beautiful. I don't have really anything negative to say about this. This was a joy and a pleasure to color. It made me want to and really made me set the goal to stretch myself to do non-color by number more. Um, just to have a little more faith in myself that I can put something together that's really beautiful. So I really enjoyed the process of coloring in this book. It was a huge surprise at how cool and beautiful this turned out and I'm really proud of this. Next is going to be a page in my candy coloring book. So this is um, from Color Questopia and it was this page. So this page here um, is one of my favorites. This is in um, this is going to be an alcohol markers. I don't know whether it was a Hoo's or Calliards. And then it's also with black metallic gel pen for the lines. And um, this is one of my favorites too because it was my first page that was shared on social media by the publisher. So Color Questobia actually picked up this page after I posted it on Instagram and shared it. And I was, I, I don't know, it was so crazy, but I was so elated. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a publisher that's seen my work and, you know, shared it and whatever. And, um, not necessarily realizing that Color Questopia did that like a ton, but I don't know. I just, it was just really fun and exciting for me. And, um, it made me just really excited to see that Color Questopia, um, did that and just made me really excited. So I completed this page back in September, um, of 2020 and, uh, absolutely just thought that was a lot of fun. Next, oops, I'm sorry guys. Uh, next is going to be, where is it? Sorry, I've got my books kind of all over the place. Next is going to be in my words to live by look. Don't look at the front page. It's a horrible or the front cover, but it's this page. I do love it. I do love it. I'm sorry. I I wish I didn't love it as much as I did because I hate so much how this book is set up, but um, I absolutely love this page. I love the colors in this page. The process of coloring it was really beautiful, and it was almost one of those things like as I was coloring each color in the page, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's the perfect color. Oh, that's so beautiful, and um, I just really like it. I really like it, so I can't say anything bad about that book for the way that the pages turn out for sure. Next is going to be out of my Christmas mosaic book. And this was one of my first pages on Instagram that got a lot of attention. Um, and it was this Cardinals page. And this page here, I just think is beautiful. I love the color combinations on here. This is probably my favorite page in the book um, that I've completed thus far and um, really fell in love with this book um, after completing this page and really love it. Last is going to be something also a little random. Um, it's going to be out of this Color Questopia Chibi Girls book. It's the only page I have colored in here. It's this one here. And so this is like um, this little girl with some of these little treats. And I did this for Buddy Colorathon. Um, Danielle actually had a grayscale Jade Summer birthday page that she colored out of. And I used that as inspiration to color here. So I did not follow Color Questopia's color palette here because I wanted this to look like the page that Danielle colored. So I would like pause her video to see what color Cali art she was coloring for different pages in this um, image. I even colored like the dress, um, how she had the dress colored in. Um, um, in the book that she was coloring in. I colored the cake, like how she had things colored. So it was just really fun. Um, and the reason that I picked this page too is not necessarily because it's like my most favorite, favorite, amazing page or anything, but because it um, pushed my creativity a little bit, but also Buddy Colorathon introduced me to a lot of color tubists, color tubists, if that's a name, YouTubers, um, people who do videos about coloring, but also people in the coloring community to allow myself to buddy color with some other people. It helped create relationships with other people in the coloring community and started to help me help to inspire me to create some um, coloring content. So I really value this page and just that whole experience. I thought that um, Jamie and Shana and Danielle did an amazing job with Buddy Colorathon um, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm really glad to hear that there's going to be a Buddy Colorathon this year. I will definitely definitely be participating in that um, and I'm excited um, to have another one of those this year. 
So with that being said, that is the end of this video. Um, I appreciate you sticking with me to hear through my coloring discoveries of 2020. Um, I want to open this tag up to um, anybody who, um, who wants to do it. I will be listing all of the questions down below in the description box as well as a link to Emma's channel um, for you to watch. And uh, with that being said, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.